In this activity, we made a beam balance to measure mass. We used cycle spokes to make the horizontal beam and cut out plastic bottle bases and threads to make the little baskets into which masses can be suspended for weighing. One can use standard weights in the basket on one side. An object of unknown mass can be put in the basket on the other side to determine its mass by comparing with the known masses in the first basket. One can add mass slowly to the basket into which the known masses go to come close to and finally balance with the unknown mass in the second basket. We will know when the masses are equal when the horizontal beam stays still and becomes horizontal. This beam balance works on the premises of the principle of moments. When equal force acts on both baskets, when masses are equal on both sides, that is, the moments will balance out on both sides if the distances from where this beam is suspended is equal for both the masses and the beam balance will stop moving about its point of suspension. One can do a host of experiments with the beam balance, vary the distance between the baskets and try to balance them using a selection of known masses and see if you can come up with the principle of moments explained later. Or use a different material for the horizontal beam. Does the weight of the beam affect your readings or estimate of mass? Also see if you can measure the mass of an inflated balloon, for example. Can you weigh an inflated balloon on a weighing scale? What about on the beam balance? You can create a dial to measure the angle at which the beam balance rests in its final position when the two masses or distances are unequal. You can also play an interesting game by putting identical candles in each of the receptacles and observe the balance. What do you see? The requirement for a weighing scale probably was created when during trading there were some objects to be quantified by size and weight rather than by number. The indication of the oldest known weighing scale was found in the Indus Valley Civilization ruins. This dates back to 2000 BC. It was an instrument almost identical to the model we have created. It involved two baskets or pans for measuring the mass of an unknown object against known masses or counterweights. However, this kind of weighing scale is likely older than the Indus Valley relic. A painting from Egypt depicts the god Anubis weighing the heart of the deceased to determine whether they are worthy enough to enter heaven. Mechanical balances like the beam balance made in this activity are not as commonly used these days. An improvement over the beam balance is the technology of the spring balance and electronic balances which are used more and more commonly nowadays but these measure weight and not mass, as will be explained later. The spring balance works on the principle that the spring is compressed a certain amount by a weight under the effect of gravity, and that is reflected in the pointer on the weighing scale. Electronic balances work by using a strain gauge load cell. A strain gauge measures the weight of an object, and a load cell, also referred to as a force transducer, converts a force into an electrical signal. The two pan scales or the beam balance has been used traditionally as a symbol of justice, probably originating in ancient Egypt with a meaning of being held in balance. At different places on Earth, acceleration due to gravity can vary up to plus or minus 0.5%. However, since it acts uniformly on both pans or baskets, there is no effect on measuring mass using a beam balance anywhere on Earth or anywhere with a constant value of acceleration due to gravity, for that matter. One interesting question may come to mind then, which is whether there would be any change in the amount of known mass required to balance the same object on the moon as compared to the Earth. The answer is that since a beam balance accurately measures mass and not weight, the amount of mass required to balance the unknown mass will be the same on the Earth as on the moon. An object's weight may be affected on moving to a place with a different acceleration due to gravity, but the mass remains constant anywhere in the universe. A beam balance is a sensitive instrument and slight aberrations may lead to incorrect results. 
For example, the distance on both sides of the pivot, which is a suspension point, to the point where baskets are situated has to be perfectly equal, else mass comparison will be incorrect. Masses should ideally be placed centrally in the pan or the basket for accurate measurement. Standard masses should be kept protected from rust, etc. for accurate measurement. Beam balances can easily be manipulated by businessmen to work in their favor too. One can rig the pan, which contains the unknown weight, to be heavier than the other to attain the required set weight prematurely. Some scientific terms. Moment, denoted by the capital letter M, is a combination of a physical quantity and distance. The torque, denoted by the Greek letter tau, the turning effect of a force applied to a rotational system at a distance from the axis of rotation, also known as the moment of force. Force, by capital letter F, something that causes a change in the position of an object. Mass, with a small letter m, quantity of matter in a body, regardless of the forces acting upon it. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies physical space. Weight is the force exerted on a body due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity, denoted by the small letter g, is attained by a body due to the pull of gravity alone. A pivot is a central point on which something balances or turns. And a transducer is a device that converts energy from one form into another. Students should be familiar with the concept of mass, matter and weight. Students should have basic motor skills to build the beam balance and carry out the activity. Students should be familiar with algebra and word equations as used in physics. The principle of moments. In simple terms, moment is the turning effect of a force. Moment differs from torque in that torque is the turning effect of a force about a pivot and the turning involves a rotation about the pivot. The principle of moments states that a system is said to be in equilibrium when the effects of clockwise and anti-clockwise moments about a pivot are equal. Moment measured in Newton meters about a turning point is described as force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the turning point to the point of application of force. So moment is equal to F multiplied by D, where F is equal force in Newtons and D is perpendicular distance in meters. So at equilibrium, F1, D1 equals F2, D2, as denoted in the diagram. The terms mass and weight are often used interchangeably. However, technically, they mean two different things. Mass is the amount of matter that an object contains, and weight is the measurement of pull of gravity on an object. The mass of an object would then be constant anywhere in the universe, but the weight would be specific to location based on the gravitational pull or lack of it. In case of a beam balance, we are measuring mass because both sides of the balance, that is the known and the unknown masses, experience an equal gravitational field. And this then is in essence a comparison scale and so gives us a measure of mass. It is important to note that you need to have a constant non-zero gravitational field for the beam balance to work. That is, it is in essence comparing weights, but since the weights are being compared in a region where the gravitational field is constant, we are also comparing the masses. On a machine such as an electronic weighing scale or a spring balance, the calibration in the machine is made according to the gravitational constant on Earth and the spring constant on the spring used. Such a spring balance would not show the same reading on the moon, for example, because the scale is calibrated to compare the effect that the gravitational force exerts on the spring and the amount that the spring is compressed by this force. So a spring balance or an electronic balance actually measures weight and not mass. In case of a beam balance on the moon, the gravitational force acting on both baskets would be the same, though less in comparison to the force on Earth. So one would need to use the same amount of mass in the known mass basket as on Earth to balance the mass in the unknown mass basket. Beam balances are used as a measure of weight or mass by vendors selling goods on the go for whom it is difficult to afford, carry or charge electronic weighing balances. 
Variations of the mechanical balance are used in businesses where it is crucial to measure weight accurately. A Roberville balance is used by jewelers and goldsmiths to measure weights of precious metals. Chemists use a Roberville balance to measure small amounts of chemicals accurately to perform reactions for which reactants need to be present in specific amounts. The nurse at the doctor's office may use a variation of the beam balance, which is the physician beam balance, to measure weights of patients precisely. The beam balance has had a long journey from being the first invented weighing scale to being prominent enough to become the symbol of justice. We can still see it in use at many places these days. The beam balance has to be maintained in proper working order in order for it to give accurate measurements. It is also liable to being rigged to dupe unassuming customers. However, it is a robust method to measure mass and will provide the same accurate measurement anywhere in the universe, provided there's a constant gravitational field there. We hope you had fun playing around with this activity and see you soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.